Hello guys, so I hope all of you will be fine. So as you know that we have started the digital logic design course. So today we are going to implement all those gates practically and we can see that here we have this chip over which all the gates are installed. Okay, so here this one is the NOT gate. Here this is AND gate and NAND NOR or gate as well all of these gates are installed by using these ICs okay so these are the ICs which are behind the operations of these circuits okay. so let us start and let me have this module this module as well and we have different voltage sources and today we will see that how can we deploy the functionalities of these gates okay so here we have this multimeter as well by using which we will check the functionality of the outputs of these gates. Okay, so let me turn it on. So when I will turn it on, try to make it at this DC voltage. Here, the leads are installed here. And let me install the leads here as well. So this is the input to it, while this one is the common wire which is here so let me install this common here so i will install it here okay so after installing it the other is uh, here so what i have to do this will be installed at the output of any gate which i want to check so let me put it aside here and let me use another wire for the input so let me give this five volts to my input and let me check the functionality of this not gate first okay so this 5 volt is given to the not gate and in order to check the functionality of this not gate let me install it here okay so now we can see that the common is now installed here while the output is installed here okay so uh, when i will provide it this 5 volts okay so this is the inverter and it should give me zero so you can see at this multimeter that it will give me zero okay once i will remove it from here and in order to provide one zero to it what i have to do i have to take it and i have to put it here at this ground so that zero will be given to it so zero means zero volts so one zero will be given so inverter will invert it to the five volts and it will be here so you can see that this is the common inversion which we have seen in our theoretical class. So for a very simple NOT gate, the inputs and outputs applied to it are given here. So if the input is one, one means five volts, the output from it will be zero. Okay, so in our gates here, zero means zero volts. Similarly, if the input is zero, zero means zero volts, the output will be one volt and that is basically the common characteristics of the inverter on NOT gate okay so this is the truth table of a NOT gate uh, which we are going to implement over the hardware and we will see that how this functionality is performed by a simple logic gate which is called a NOT gate and gate so as the name suggests and we have previously studied that and gate will give us the output if both the inputs of a gate are one if one and two input of a gate is one it will give me output which is suggested by the last entry of our truth table so this table basically suggests us the this truth table shows us the functionality of a common and gate so the inputs here are basically two inputs which are in one in two and same one output so different combinations are shown here and all the combinations are giving me the zeros except the one for which both the inputs are one so let me try it over the hardware for which we have tried our not case so let us do it so the setup I am going to use here is the same one, but uh, the gate which I am going to test here is this AND gate for which two inputs are applied. So the first input here is this blue one which is given to this one, okay, and the second one is given to the second input 
okay which is denoted by this red color okay so we have this blue and red colors and uh, the applications here are basically the same this is zero this is one so let me first give both of them zero inputs okay so zero inputs are given and for observing the output the connection of it is given at the output of this one okay so we can see that both of these are basically zeros okay are applied here so this and get so the expected output here is also zero okay so this is here so if one of them is picked out from here and it is now given this 5 volt so it will be 0 1 okay so we can see that one is 0 the other one is 1 so the expected output is again 0 which is the same one here okay similarly if now this one is picked from here and this one is now given to this 5 volts okay so now the other one is now 1 while the previous one is now set to 0 okay we can see that this is now again 0 now making both of these equal to 1 by giving them the 5 volts what will happen these are now given to this 5 volt okay applied here and the output is connected with this so we can very easily see that when two are given to the 5 volts the output here is now 5 volts which is shown by this multimeter okay so this basically corresponds with the basic functionality of the AND gate so the last basic gate we have is this OR gate what is the functionality here so it shows me that if any of the two inputs is one the output will be one here as well okay so if input one or input two is one the output will be one okay as suggested by the truth table which is shown here so you can see that if any of the input provided here is one the output will be one so that's why this is called the or so for checking the functionality of the OR gate, we have here the prototype of the OR gate. So the inputs which are two here, applied here, okay, this blue one at the first input and this red one at the second input, okay. Both of them are given zero volts and the output is taken from this here which is now connected with this multimeter okay so when both of these are zeros so we can see that the output of it will also be zero so now let us make one of them equal to one so when we will make one of them equal to one so due to the functionality of the or gate the output will also be one which is represented by this five volts okay now making it zero while the second one equal to five okay this one so what will happen we can see that it will also be one as suggested by the truth table if any one of them is one and making both of them equal to one okay what will happen the output will also be one as suggested by this five so that's it for today in which we have discussed the functionalities of the basic gates which are NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate okay by providing different voltages to them and observing the outputs via this multimeter okay. So we will discuss some more circuits in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon with some more exciting circuits. Thank you so much.